Hey, Howard. Hello. Has anyone arrived yet? No, I heard a car pass by. That's it. Had a long day. I'm gonna go take a nap. It's your house, Howard. Yes? Howard Roberts Warden. What's it to you? Yeah, um, have you ever heard the one about the black Mercedes? No. What model? C43 2017. Hello, sir. Good to meet you. HRW, I presume. That's correct. And you? Ray Dempsey, at your service. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Dempsey. This is Kyle Parker, better known as Coroner. And this is Jordan Carlson. Better known as Silver Castle. This is Damien Stewart, better known as Reggae. And this is Alessandro Bianchi, Coltero. Well, nice to meet you all. Please, would you come inside? Thank you. I was told you all liked whiskey, so I went ahead and bought some. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. I'm sure you all know why we've gathered here today. It's because our boss. Francis needs to hand us our final pay for our misdeeds. Francis is a very mysterious man. Have any of you seen his face? No. 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 Not really. Francis, you're... My god. That's one hell of a boss. Wait, I don't know. Alessandro, you're very quiet. What's the matter? Oh, there's nothing like that. He just doesn't speak English. Oh, then what does he speak? Italian. As a matter of fact, it's my second language. How is he? Come lei? Ho stato stanco recentemente, ma sto bene. Grazie. He says he's tired, but that he's okay. And he says thank you. Good to hear. Yes? Have you ever heard the one about the black C43 2017 Mercedes? Good afternoon, Howard. Good afternoon. Name's John Georgia, but you can call me Fiction. This here is Nicholas Jefferson, Robin Hood. Nice to meet you, Howard. This here is Carl Petro, call him Samson. Much obliged. Come in, gentlemen. Carl, I've heard before. But Petrov, that's new. He's Russian, and he doesn't speak a word. Sounds a lot like a Italian member. Poor guy doesn't even speak English. Yes, but Samson knows English. He just doesn't speak it. Oh, okay. Hey man, when is Francis gonna make it here? I got shit to do. My jet blue flight leaves at Hey, you better stop cussing and learn how to speak about your boss. Man, shut up. I got like 10 things better to do than this shit. Unlike your raggedy ass. All in. All in. Fuck yeah! Jack and Ace, motherfucker! Jesus Christ. Alright, let's take a 10 minute break and come back. Yeah, sure. sure. Tell me two. I gotta take a piss. Thanks. Room for some whiskey? Anytime, thanks. What do you want? Me? I just want some company on a way out. A way out from what? From this crap. Taking orders from a guy who didn't even pass high school when I studied eight years in college. That's elitist, and it destroys people. No, it doesn't. It gives people a chance to establish justice. I should be the one giving orders. What do you want? Look, all the people in there, I don't trust any of them, all right? Why? Look, in a house full of criminals, there really isn't much room for trusting. I guess you're right. For me, it's not that I don't trust anyone. I just don't like them. I understand. All I really want it's for you and I to come to an agreement, an alliance, 
You and me. You don't hurt me, I don't hurt you. Agreed? Agreed. Come on. Thanks, by the way. What for? Stopping me. If it weren't for you, Damien's brains would be all over the floor. This man was murdered, choked to death. The bruises in his neck suggest it was some sort of struggle. His face is damp, the floor is wet. Whoever did this knew what he was doing. Hmm. Motherfucker, please. How stupid you think we are. What? <laughs> oh man, you really want me to think this was in you? You think I did this? Man, please. I ain't no fool, and neither are these motherfuckers. What you gonna do? Hit me? No. Coward. Do you want to know what's really wrong here? Do you want to know what really brings this whole situation down the shitter? When the one person who doesn't speak English is the one who found the dead body in the first place. There is a 1 out of 8 chance, there is a 12% chance that he could have found that body. That is patently ridiculous. Now I don't know much Italian myself and I'm not expecting you to ask him if he killed him or not. Because I know that he's going to say no. But what I do know is how to count. And if nobody tells me who killed Kyle, I will shoot Alessandro. Desi. Howard, I'm doing it. No way. Otto. Howard, don't. Sete. Sei. Cinque. Quatre. Don't do this, Howard. Tre. Due. Uno. Va fan culo. Fuck! Put the gun down and stand up. What are you doing, Jordan? Stopping this maniac from killing all of us. Pass it forward. Bastard. Hey! What's going on here? Howard just killed Alessandro. No! Come <laughs> on!
Did you actually think it was Alessandro? What? Alessandro. Do you think he was the murderer? Look. Alessandro wasn't the killer. It was me. What? Like everyone else, Francis told me to come here and meet up so he could give us the last payment. But he told me he needed a favor from me. A special task, he called it. What task? He sent me a text asking me to kill Kyle Parker. Really? He said he informed the rest of you. That was clearly a lie. When I saw Kyle into the bathroom, I used it as an opportunity. In the pantry. Thanks. Dude, what the fuck? Why would Francis ever do that? Francis isn't the guy you think he is. He set me up. He set you up. He set us all up. He used Kyle's death as a motive for us to kill each other. Let's just hey, you hear that? I think that's him. Good evening, motherfuckers. Hi, all set on end. Set them up. Jesus, what a shitload! I thought you were all going to be dead by now! Darwin created the principle of social Darwinism that states that the strong, intelligent, and capable will survive upon this godforsaken world. Now, who is the most strongest? Who is the most capable? John for surviving or Ray for orchestrating? In this case, neither of you are the strongest. Neither of you are the most intelligent, and neither of you are the most capable. I am the king, and you my slaves. You are mere servants who think that they play a plan in this huge role in life. But guess what, fellows? You're nothing. You do petty work, and you're worth nothing. And for that, you die. Started, kid. Oh! <laughs> 
had one job, one task, one mission, and that you failed. And now I finish it. Next, John! Any last words, John? Eat dust! You son of a... Guess what, fucker? I won! Just, just.